AP1 drive shaft on the bottom, AP2 on top. I just weighed both of them. They both weigh exactly 16.0 pounds on my bathroom scale. Just wanted to take a quick video and show you what I notice as far as design differences right off the bat. I didn't do any kind of research on this, so this is just what I'm seeing taking a first glance at these two next to each other. I uh, can clearly see the AP1 center section is actually longer than the AP2 on top, it's AP1, and this section here is much fatter. And then same down on here, you can see that the AP1 extends further than the AP2 and this necks down quite a bit sooner. The center section itself is different in addition to the uh, end pieces here, the CVs. This is a look towards the diff, much different pattern cut out on the AP2. AP1's all flat here. Another big difference is the holes, the through holes on the AP1 is for an M8 bolt. The AP2 is for an M10 thread, so these through holes are significantly larger in the AP2 shaft, which then in turn makes this diameter slightly larger than the AP1 below. It's known that the AP2 hardware is much easier to torque down and remove without stripping the hexes since it has a much larger hex due to the M10 thread versus the M8 thread on the AP1 drive shaft. But the design difference is really, it looks like, you know, like I said, they neck it down sooner. They have more of this smaller section of the shaft exposed on the AP2. This diameter itself is a little thinner. The center sections of each do measure the exact same outer diameter. They're 75 millimeters on the outside. AP1 on the bottom has a much larger um, cover here for the CV. AP2 is kind of symmetrical on both sides and this has the cutouts on the transmission side um, of the unit unlike the rear that's all flat for the AP1. AP2 looks the same on each end. I'm not sure if it can be installed um, either way if it matters or not but it looks symmetrical on both sides versus the AP1 looks directional. Same deal with the front. These through holes are much smaller for the M8 bolt. These are much larger for the M10. Looking at the back side again, the AP1 rear doesn't appear to have a removable cap on the back. It's a much different design than the symmetrical kind of AP2 design that has this removable cap. They both have these breather holes which you could, I guess, stick a grease needle in and add grease there if yours are leaking. I'll make a separate video about rebuilding and uh, pulling this cap off and resealing the ends if you do have leaks in these. I've seen people post about it online about their propeller shaft is leaking and they think they have to buy a new one, but it's not always the case. If you don't have any significant play in the CVs, there's no need to replace it if it's leaking. You can just pull the end caps off, uh, get some fresh grease in there, and then seal the ends with Honda Bond. Just takes a little bit of time. Not too difficult to do though. So taking a look at the back of the AP1 transmission here, this is the standard AP1 output flange to the AP1 drive shaft. It's got the M8 threads, and this is a brand new AP2 output flange. Just to show the difference, you can see the threads are much larger, M10 threads. And in order to accommodate that, the actual overall diameter of this is larger than this. If I hold them up against each other, you can see the AP2 on the right, slightly larger diameter to have enough meat in the corners for those larger threaded holes. As you can see, kind of, if you drilled those out to an M10, you'd run out of steel on the edge of the radius. Um, very similar in weight. There's really no performance advantage. The AP2 stuff you would think would be heavier, um, but it's not. It's exactly the same weight. I mean, you might be talking grams difference, so it's really no performance advantage versus AP1 versus AP2. Uh, the AP2 units are known to be a little more durable, not necessarily the drive shafts, but the rear ends. So I plan to keep the AP1 transmission ratios, go to an AP2 output flange, AP2 rear end, and AP2 drive shaft, just to update the car a little bit. Um, another question is, the bolt pattern, or the bolt circle, for each of these is actually identically the same. So if I hold this up to an AP1, the AP2 output flange up to the AP1 drive shaft, you'll see the through holes all line up for the holes. So the bolt circle is the same, it's just the threads changed. So thank you guys for tuning in and watching this quick video. Just wanted to spread some knowledge since I had these parts out here. Uh, feel free to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.